Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the latest edition of the Pond Key Take as we talk about Chris Bennett of the Iowa Heartlanders. I accidentally almost said Sam Bennett, who's in the NHL there, but Chris Bennett, the wonderful 26 year old wizard of a rookie that dominated the ECHL and got the Rookie of the Year award for it, the John A. Daly Memorial Trophy. He rightfully deserved it. He had 25 power play points leading all ECHL rookies, 35 goals, which was top among rooks as well, 73 points, top among rooks, and fifth overall. Chris Bennett is an absolute force on the ice, and also not fully ready for that level yet, but had his moments in a handful of games thus far at the AHL level last season and thus season as well. So I think Chris Bennett is not only trending in the right direction to be a stud superstar at the AH or excuse me at the ECHL level, he's also trending in the right direction to be a potential good AHL player one day and maybe even work his way up from there, which would obviously be his ultimate goal. This year he got some time with the Iowa Wild, where he in twelve games he was able to produce one point. Last year in nine games for the Stockton Heat, he produced two points as an assist. This year with the Iowa Wild, he was able to tally his first career HL goal, so claps up to Chris Bennett for that as well. And absolutely dominating, have a 35 and 38. And this dude uh, will also, if he has to, not a guy to really, you want to do it as a star scorer for your team, but if he has to, isn't afraid to drop the gloves and fight the bones out and uh, stick up for his team either. But Chris Bennett is a great building block, assuming the Heartlanders are able to keep him. And because of his stud level play as a rookie, the AHL doesn't notice him yet. But I feel like they might be fine, at least for the beginning of next season, to continue to have their star player for a team that finished in last place, had a tough season overall, but have a couple good catch on their team. Obviously, Chris Bennett is the stud of them all. And the key is him staying on the team. And obviously, you want to see his fans grow and have a guy develop and get to the next level. But I do still think Bennett has some things to work on. And her learn from having his handful of games, the 9 last season and the 12 this season, what to grow on for the AHL level. But I feel like he'll still start with the Heartlanders as long as and why the hell wouldn't they want to after him working, winning the Rookie of the Year, want to keep him around. As long as they want to keep him around after winning the John A. Daly Memorial, I would say they're going to keep him around, right? So it's a tough season for the Heartlanders, but Chris Bennett is some solace in the positive after the tough season as he takes home the John A. Daly Memorial Trophy for the Rookie of the Year. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below or up above on the Easy to Use widget to keep the channel growing to 250 or more by the start of June to meet our goal. Enjoy the hockey, everybody. Enjoy the Kelly Cup playoffs. I'll be on the call with Eric Jetsberger for the Reading Royal game as the color commentator. It's been a privilege and honor to get to do that. But definitely enjoy the Kelly Cup playoffs. I know your team's not in it, but I know fans enjoy still watching the race even when their teams aren't in it. And maybe the Heartlanders will continue to build and they have a great guy to build around as long as he sticks on the ECHL level enough next year to make an impact and doesn't get noticed and get promoted, which is what we all hope a guy does, right? But that does, in the uh, secondary scheme of things, affect obviously what the projections are for the Iowa Heartlanders. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.